properties of amino acids. Amino acids are colorless crystalline solids and they are water soluble. They are high melting solids and they behave as salts. Behave as salts due to the presence of both amino group and acid group. This amino acid contains both amino group and acid group. So they behave as salts. Next, in aqueous solution, what will happen? In aqueous solution, this acid group lost one proton. Okay, and this amino group accepts those proton and they form a dipolar ion called as sphincter ion and these two ions are in equal they ex these two forms exist in equilibrium in the aqueous solution see the reaction see the process coh okay so this acid group loses the one proton and nh nh2 accepts those proton so ion will be like this this is a dipolar ion called as sweeter ion okay this sweeter ion we know this is neutral but it contains both positive and negative ions okay due to the presence of this both positive and negative ions they exist as they are having an amphoteric character okay in sweeter ion this uh, amino acid is having an amphoteric character what is amphoteric character that is it reacts with both acids and bases okay okay next in acidic medium what will happen Acidic medium. Amino acid exists as positive ion. So, when an electric field is applied, this ion will migrate towards cathode. Okay? Migrate towards cathode. What will happen in basic medium? In basic medium, Amino acid exists as negative ion. So when an electric field is applied, it migrates towards anode. Okay. Towards anode. Okay, this will be the case. Now at a particular pH, what will happen? There will be no migration at all. Okay. Under the influence of electric field. And this point is known as the isoelectric point. Okay. So, at a particular pH, what will happen? No net migration under the influence of electric field. This point is known as, this pH is known as isoelectric point. So, what is isoelectric point? Isoelectric point is the pH of amino acid, pH of amino acid at which it neither migrate towards anode, neither migrate towards anode nor towards cathode. Okay. In the case of neutral amino acid, this pH seems to be uh, between pH 5.5 and pH 6.3. Isoelectric point for neutral amino acids. pH 5.5 and between uh, pH 6.3. Between 5.5 and 6.3. Okay. Next property is optical activity. Okay, optical activity.
okay this alpha amino acids show optical activity because this alpha carbon atom is asymmetric in nature except glycine alpha amino acids except glycine glycine the alpha carbon is not asymmetric okay except glycine all others are uh, having asymmetric carbon atom so they are optically active okay they exist in both d and l forms okay but in the case of proteins which contains only l isomers proteins contains only l isomers okay that means nh2 is in the left hand side of the 